So we've got two electric bikes we're going to unpack. We've got a white one and a black one. This is the XP's 2.0. Uh, supposed to be one of the nicest ones electric bike sales. So we'll bust them open. See the easiest way to get them out for one person. Go from there. As you can see, this thing comes wrapped up real well. We'll cut all the ties off, get all everything undone from it, and see what we got here. Let's take this outside, get a little outside fresh air. Make sure you don't lose your keys.
Now, as you can see, this is exactly how it came out of the box, other than being folded up. We unfolded it and took keys apart. So we got the bikes undone out of the box. Everything was easy, already came assembled. Um, my battery came in a different box, but uh, that's no big deal. Batteries aren't completely charged up. We're gonna take them for a spin to make sure everything works like it's supposed to. Bring them back, do a full charge, and then we'll do a full review on them. So let's go have fun. And now that we got the bikes put together, um, I want to show a couple of the settings that we have. Uh, we got the lock with it too, so there was a key for the lock as well. But you have to have a key for the battery in order to operate the battery. The battery itself has a key in it, and it's located under the bottom of the bikes. Um, don't know why they did that, um, but that's what they did. So each key goes to each battery. So if you have to buy another battery, it has a different key to it. Uh, so keep that in mind. But we'll throw the switch on. We'll show you uh, some of the features on here uh, and some of the um, settings on here that I use. Um, so it'll, it'll make it a little bit easier on you guys. I'll try to multitask with this thing up here. So up on your front, front display here, you've got your power button, your plus and minus for uh, pedal assist. Uh, you've got your front brake here, rear brake is here, throttle is here if you want to just use the uh, battery itself or if you want to pedal. Uh, here is your Shimano uh, gear changer. This is the plus, this will go from, this clicks it up in gears by one, two, all the way up to seven and you push it forward to drop it back down to your lower gears. Your LCD uh, display here will power it on. Now there's different brightnesses for this uh, to go into program mode. Well, first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna show you how to cut the headlights on and the tail lights on. So you'll take the positive button and hold it down for three seconds and that turns your front LED headlight on as well as your LED tail light. Um, some, some states you have to have it in order to cut it off, hold it down for three seconds and it'll turn it back off. 
Some states you're required to have headlights and tail lights on them at all times when you're riding, some don't. Uh, same as the helmets. Some recommend helmets, some don't. Um, so on here on the display, we want to go into the settings on this thing. Uh, so in order to go into settings, you have to hold the plus and the minus button at the same time. And that will change it to your different settings. See where it has O1P. You'll hit the power button to scroll through your different settings. So we'll go back to one. And setting one is for your brightness on your bike. So right now it's on O1. If you want it brighter, you can go to O2 or O3 or back to O1. I keep it on O1 because if I do any night riding, I want it to blind me while I'm going down the road. So I always keep that to one. If you leave it setting for a bit, it'll reset itself back to the front. And you want to go to the next one. Next setting is O2. That's the distance in units. If you want to change it from kilometers to miles, you can do that. Uh, four is your sleep mode. How long you want uh, the LCD to stay on after you stop riding. Uh, I've got my set to five minutes. You can go up to 10 minutes on it. Um, me, I, I actually, I think three minutes is good enough. It can serve the battery power on it. Three minutes after riding, the LCD will cut off. Um, I'm not much worried about that. So next one's going to be your sixth, and that's your tire size. It's always on 22. Don't change that. Speed limit is on eight. Now I've got mine turned up to 100, which is the maximum output. Now the way they come set is at a 32, and I think that gives you up to like 20, 17 to 20 miles an hour or something like that. Um, me, I like having mine turned all the way up. Um, so I turn mine up to the max. I, I don't know how fast it goes just yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. We'll do a review later on as we get it and let you know how fast we go and whatnot. The fastest I've had it so far was 24 miles an hour. Um, and then if you go to the setting for nine, that's your throttle to zero start. Right now it's on zero, but you can hit one and it, it's a throttle active only when it's moving. I don't like the way that set and felt to me, so I put it back to zero. Uh, 10 is the mode toggle. It's on two, leave it on two, because that's your throttle assist and your passenger assist. If you want to turn it off, that's entirely up to you, uh, but I, I leave mine on two. Um, your sensitivity, your um, Pedal assist sensitivity. It, it's defaulted at three. Uh, you can intensify it, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would leave it at three because, especially when you're not used to the bike, when, when you're pedaling and you hit in and it kicks in the pedal assist, it kicks in on three pretty good. So there, there's really no need to go any higher on that. Um, on Setting 12 is your uh, pedal assist, the strength of it, how hard it kicks in. Uh, I keep mine down to one, that's the normal setting. Um, the number 16 is if you want to set your odometer, you can do that. Um, and then number 21, that is your walk mode toggle. I've got mine turned off, I had it on one time and I didn't like the way it operated. So the way the walk mode is set up is if you have it turned on uh, and you hit the negative button and hold it down for three seconds, the bike takes off by itself. And it's designed for when you're walking, you don't have to push the bike, take the effort to push the bike, the bike will actually walk itself. Uh, I don't like that because there's really no way to stop it in a hurry unless you're hitting the brakes. That's the only way to really stop it. I, I, so I really don't like this feature. If you can't push the bike on your own, you probably don't need to be on the bike. Um, so but those are the settings that we have. Uh, now you can scroll through your settings 
uh, on, on your bike. Um, so when you hit the power button, you can go to trip A, which trip A will change every time that, uh, every time you, your bike turns off and you cut it back on, trip A resets itself. If you want to know how many miles you've rode that day, you can use the trip A. Uh, this is your voltage meter on this. Right now I'm at 51 volts. I've got a full energy bar on here. Um, and the your current ever how you're riding tells you how much current you're pulling uh, your time that's been on the bike uh, and then your odometer on it um, you got your positive on this side this is your pedal assist it'll go from one to five uh, when i've been in five on pedal assist i'm usually in seventh gear by pedal uh, pedal assist five and what I do on mine is I'll start off on zero and I start pedaling. And then what I'll do is I'll click it up to one on pedal assist. And by the time I, I change gears and get up to about third gear, then I'll go to pedal assist two. And then pedal assist two, I'll go up to five on the gears and then go to three. I'll go to six and then four and five I'll use on gears, uh, gear seven. And with that i usually get to be about 20 to 23 miles an hour uh, going uphill uh, on seventh gear in in fifth on the pedal assist or if you want to just not have to pedal at all you can leave it on pedal assist one you have to have it on pedal assist one in order to operate the throttle um, but if you want to just run off the battery if you want to not have to deal with pedaling then make sure this is at one and if you are riding uh, on the bike and you're in a higher gear and you go to slow down and you go to stop make sure you gear this thing back down to zero you don't want to take back off in seventh gear uh, so if you've never messed with that i highly recommend that you take time to ride the bike without any pedal assist to get used to the gear changing uh, but if, if you don't want to use any gear change and make sure you're on one here your pedal assist is on one and then your throttle you can throttle up on it um, So that's all the functions I've got to show you uh, that I use uh, If you have any other settings that you know of that I don't know of leave them in the comments below um, I hope this was helpful breaking everything down and going over the gears and everything with you uh, I hope all that was helpful. We'll do a video later on our reviews on the bike as we get to ride them a little bit longer. Uh, so far, we took them out for a few runs of, around the block. We've got about five miles on it. We're enjoying them as we have them right now, but we'll do a fuller review on it later. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. Make sure you hit the uh, notification bell on here so you'll be notified whenever we do drop more videos and whenever we do drop a review video you can be able to check that out as well if you've never had an electric bike leave them in the uh, comment below letting us know if you're anticipating on getting one if the video helped you uh, to, to decide to get the electric bike or not uh, let us know in, in, in the comments on anything that you have uh, commenting wise uh, on these electric bikes uh, if you've had any problems with them I'd like to know as well uh, so give me a heads up and give you and our viewers a heads up on that as well uh, the brakes I know they're disc brakes um, I don't know how well they last but if you know please leave them in comment below let us know as well um, I hope everybody enjoys it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, leave a comment below if you liked it. If you didn't like it, what we can do to improve the videos. If you'd like to see any more videos on any of it, is there, if there's something particular that you want to see, leave a comment below. If we get enough comments on that, we'll create a little video for you on that as well. Uh, thanks, everybody. Stay safe and happy camping.